Now to inject the cat DNA serum into the school's water line. <laughs> in two minutes' time, the sprinklers will be activated and everyone will turn into glorious cat people. <laughs> Company. Time for a game of cat and mouse. Whoa! Talk about a catastic move! Good thing we've got moves of our own. Launching pet platform shoes, do your thing! Yeah. Awesome! You're almost as fast as me! That's right. Keep chasing me and watch as my plan unfolds. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe she made that jump. Feline must have nine lives as a cat. And so must Alex. Hurry up, guys! She's getting away. Ready to launch? Let's do it. <laughs> System. So that's how she's gonna hit Mally you. You guys keep after Feline while I stop her serum. Guys, we'll try, Sammy! As soon as we figure out how to escape this yard ball! Come on, Alex, let's bag this cat! We're on your tail, Feline! Ew! A giant hairball! You're so gonna pay my dry cleaning bill. I've only got 30 seconds. <laughs> so, how are you liking your new cat self, Alex? I like it just fine, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you turn everyone in the world into cat people. We'll see about that. <laughs> Spy power. The solid iron hair gel should do the trick. Get her, Alex! You're twice the cat she is! Hey, okay, Clever! Think you can spare an earring? I'm glad you like them, but is this really the time to be accessorizing? I'm not accessorizing, I'm weapon! Now hand it over! Good kitty, follow the pendulum. Follow the pendulum. Nice job, Alex! Alex? Oh, uh, I got it from here. You just relax. Uh. Uh-oh, this isn't gonna be pretty. Luckily, it's nothing an Arctic Blast Breath Mint can't solve. Mm, refreshing, too. Cool! A new ice sculpture! I'm sure those lame girls will mess this up, too! Spies, could you use a little help? I thought you'd never ask. This bad kitty needs a time out. Oh my, Alex. Mm -hmm. You look like one of my disguises. Actually, I kind of like it. I was thinking I might stay this way. You'd better come with me. We can discuss it at Whoop. I'll send some agents to clean up this little campus mess. Thanks, Jer. OMG, I totally forgot about my mom. I gotta get back to the penthouse right away. Hey, Clover. Just think about coming clean about your real major. Mm -hmm. I promise she won't be disappointed in you. <laughs>
Right, and I could work the neck better if I was wearing anti-grab boots, but that would be cheating. Too bad Alex didn't come with. She's not as picky as you are about playing by the rules. Mighty Barb. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I think you better switch to the low-carb Mighty Bars. Oh! Oh! Hey, this has been chewed up. Wait a sec. My souvenir pillow from Niagara Falls is gone. You mean this one? Ew, whatever's going on, it reeks of Alex. Alex. Hey, back so soon? How was the game? All right, Alex, what's going on? Chewed up chair legs, slobbered up pillow. Maybe we got attacked by beavers? <laughs> oh boy, am I hungry. Just listen to my stomach. What's for lunch, guys? <gasps> oh, okay, I'm busted. But what was I supposed to do? Sparky was lost. I had to bring him home. You can't keep him. Sorry, Alex. Sam, having a puppy might seriously broaden certain horizons for us. <laughs> oh, this puppy obviously belongs to someone. We gotta return him. Uh, thanks for totally killing my fantasy, Sam. We'll make some flyers and put them up around the neighborhood. I guess you're right. Hello, detention alert. We're gonna be late for first period if we don't hurry. Wait, what about Sparky while we're in school? Uh, I'm sure he'll be fine right here. <laughs> I want action, like tomorrow night when we rock out to the finest band in Beverly Hills, Ultra Loud Zone. <laughs> Whoops! My board got away from me. My name's Alex. Who are you? Corey. I came here to study volcanoes with my college professor, which is totally cool, because Hawaii is my ultimate fantasy trip. Really? Mine too! Excellent. Yeah, I love the food, the people, the music, though I'm not much at hula dancing. No? Well, my favorite dance is one you might never heard of. It's called the Tawalunga. Mine too! This is almost like destiny! Who's your favorite band? Oh, wow, that's tough. There's thousands to choose from, but I'd have to say my favorite is Ultra Loud, Loud Zone. Zone! Are you doing anything later? No. Professor Paley was supposed to bring me up to his camp at that dormant volcano, but he never showed. Hey, want to catch a wave? Oh, sure. Hey, surfing is the only life for me. <laughs> I just gotta go tell my friend where I'll be. Clover, you got a minute? I need you to tell me how to surf. Huh? Hurry, how big do these waves get? Ah, uh, three, maybe four. Feet? Stories. Four stories? Here we go! Ah! Awesome! Come on, Alex! Corey, I have a confession! I never surfed anything bigger than a 35-foot wave! Okay, hold on, Alex! They suggest you get yourself a bus schedule, young lady, because at this rate, there's no way you're gonna pass your driving test. But I've got to pass! Mm, girls 
who drive attract three times more boys than girls who don't. Don't worry, Alex. We know you'll come through in the clutch. Please, don't say clutch. Huh? <laughs> You're the one taking driver's ed, Alex! Where are the brakes? <laughs> Look at that! We made it to school in record time. Think of how much more time we could have saved if those pedestrians would have just stayed off the sidewalks. Huh? Oh. Huh? <gasps> cool motorcycle. Who's the intense biker babe? That must be Donna Ramon. I heard she was just released from juvie. <laughs> Looks more like she escaped from juvie. Come on, guys. I'm sure she's perfectly nice. Huh? Hi, I'm Alex. I don't think we've met. Oops. You know what happened to the last person who touched my ride? Let's just say she eats her dinner through a straw these days. <laughs> what a coincidence! I like protein shakes, too. Uh, gee, look, there goes the bell. See you around. at the other end of the school. Ugh, what a stressful day. I hope I never see that thug again. At least they're serving my favorite lunch today, soy cheese pizza. I'll huh? take that. Hey, give me my pizza back. Not a chance. Way I figure, you owe me lunch money for a year after what happened today. Alex, you're not going to let her extort you like that. Yeah, stand up for yourself. Uh, I, I'm not gonna pay. In fact, I want my pizza back! On second thought, you can keep the pizza. I'm gonna turn you into my own personal hand puppet! Teacher! You're lucky. For now. But tomorrow at 3 o'clock, you're dead meat. You hear that? I'm dead meat! Don't sweat it, Alex. I'm sure this will all blow over. Well, when it does, give me a call. Until then, I'll be at the North Pole. Wow! I found your lecture on cold fusion to be so interesting, Mr. Roberts. May I clean those test tubes for you? Uh, thank you, Sam. It's wonderful to see a student so interested in chemistry. Oh, hi, Sam. I guess you were serious when you said you'd hit up Mr. R for extra credit. Is it working? <laughs> oh, what a total coincidence. That's my favorite movie, too. I love the part when... Clover! Is this the guy you said you were majorly crushing on? Oh, he's just as cute as you said he was. You know, she really, really likes you. Okay, I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. <laughs> Way to totally blow it, Alex! You are the absolute worst at keeping a secret! What are you guys talking about? I'm an expert at keeping secrets! Hello? Remember that time we had to cancel a party because you told the neighbors about it? Or the time you told my English teacher I downloaded my essay from the internet? None of those were my fault! I can totally keep things to myself! I didn't tell Sam that you lost her favorite CD, did I? Oops. Wait, you lost my CD? Uh, I didn't really lose it. I just kind of lent it to this guy and... Uh, <laughs> oh, where did they come from? Oh, looky at the little bit of babies. <laughs> this is it, the Animal Lover's Mothership. Hello, Veterinary Studies Building. <laughs> awesome! Gonna be the best volunteer job ever! You must be Alex. I'm Professor Dion. Feline Dion. It sounds like you're as excited about cats as I am. Are you kidding? Cats are like the cutest things ever! Hmm? I mean, besides those faux fur boots you're wearing. Thank you. 
And thank you for your enthusiasm about felines. As far as I'm concerned, cats are the most amazing, intelligent, glorious creatures on the entire planet. I only wish we humans could be more <laughs> like them. Um, yeah. Like I said, they're cute. And I'll take really good care of them, I promise. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a few errands to run. I'll see you later. Well, guess that leaves me and the kitties. So, what should I do first? Groom you, feed you, clean your cages? <gasps> um, oh, wait! Uh, okay, one at a time. I'm not following what you're saying! Somebody help! <laughs> Nothing looks out of the ordinary. Of course, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Mm. <laughs> Maybe something like that? Wow, what a fun room! Yeah, if you're a demented 110-pound cat. Oh, oopsie. Sorry, Alex. Odd. This looks like some kind of cryogenic containment unit. Uh, translation? Preferably with smaller words, please? It's a fancy refrigerator. The question is, what is this? Cat DNA infused serum? That's a weird thing to keep in the fridge. Hmm. Ah! Hey! Not if you love cats as much as I do. Celine Dion, I take it. And I see you've been using this serum on yourself. Ooh! The only thing better than petting a cat is being one. And now I've devised a way to unite humans and cats together forever by bonding their DNA. Did it ever occur to you that not everyone wants to be a cat person? I mean, talk about a waxing nightmare. <laughs> She seems to be enjoying it. Alex? And once I deploy the serum across the globe, everyone will understand the joy that she and I feel. Across the globe? So you're the one who messed with all those landmarks. The new race of cat people will need places to play and landmarks to visit. <laughs> Off to my first target. Maliu! We gotta get out of here before Feline carries out her crazy plan! Great idea! Only this door isn't budging! What do we do? Alex, can you use one of your claws to pick the lock on this door? No problem! Awesome! Good kitty! Girls, it's time for Super Mega Dance Party Yo! The most awesome dance competition ever recorded live on television! Oops. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Keyword being recorded, it's on DVR, Clover. Yeah, what's the big rush? Oh, thanks to my crazy evening class sketch, I already had to wait 9 hours, 42 minutes, and 16 seconds to watch it. I can't wait a moment longer. Okay, <laughs> get ready for some super mega gravity defying moves. <laughs> To Super Mega Dance Party Yo! I'm your Super Mega Dance host, Brick Wave Break! Oh! Wow! Brick is Super Mega Hot! After this week's elimination round, Brick, that's me, will host the dance off to crown the world's best dancer. Everything about Brick is Super Mega, from his perfect hair to his perfect tan. Brick will be right back after this commercial break. Who could that be? Hi, I'm Bethany. In case you're wondering, that's spelled with two H's, two N's, and two E's. <laughs> Sorry, who are you? And how did you get into our penthouse pad? I just told you, silly. I'm Bethany, your new roomie. What? Roomie? It must be a mistake. Our closets are, I mean, our penthouse is crammed to capacity. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't take up much space. Besides, I just know we're all gonna be major BFFs. What's the extra F stand for? Best four friends forever! Will you excuse us for a sec? Yeah, we have to um, use the facilities. Oh, 
You're all going together? You know how girls are. <laughs> hmm. Is it me, or does the air pressure in the Whoop subatomic jet make anyone else's ears ring? Speaking of rings, Clover, you better call Mandy and let her know you found hers. I guess you're right, Sam. But doing the right thing can sometimes be so annoying. Hello, Mandy. It's Clover. I just called to tell you that I found your... Clover? Uh, I don't know why you're calling me, but could you please not tie up my line right now? I am in the middle of a crisis! My ring is missing! Uh. Oh, great! Now how am I going to finish telling Mandy off? You can tell her later. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Creepy place. Yeah, who's this decorator, Dracula? Good afternoon, <laughs> ladies. Oh, sorry if I startled you. I was just looking for my cufflink. It must be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe we can help. We're the spies from Whoop. I'm Sam, and this is Clover and Alex. You must be Ian. Welcome to Oxford. From what Jerry has told me, you're just the girls to help me find the second scarab of Isis. The second Scarab of Isis? We thought we were supposed to help you find the missing professor. Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid Professor Elliot is beyond finding. You see, he fell victim to the curse of a Munra. Uh, the curse of a Munra? Can you tell us exactly how the professor disappeared? I couldn't really say. You see, one moment he was standing next to me, and the next, he was gone. See, guys? I knew curses were real. Yeah, real phony. Now, if you could just show us where you last saw the professor, we'll take it from there. Certainly. If you ladies will excuse me, I need to prepare for our trip to the desert. And please be careful not to touch anything in this room. Several of these items are cursed. Where'd he go? Don't you just love the way he's so dark and mysterious? I can't believe an educated person would actually believe in curses. Really? I mean, as if something bad could happen just by opening some old armoire. Please. There's nothing inside here but some old black socks. Uh, Clover? That's not an armoire. And those aren't socks. 